Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync high level to Outlook so that all those contacts you have in your Outlook can automatically be added to high level as you gather them. And then any leads or contacts you have in high level can also be synced back to Outlook so you can easily email them, text them if it's connected to your cell phone. It's a great way to keep your contacts in line, up to date, without having to worry about imports or exports, downloads, uploads, anything like that. It just happens automatically. Also, it's super easy to set up. Let me show you how. First step is to go to apination.com and here at API Nation, you're gonna click on Discover Connections. You're gonna see a ton of different connections, marketing, CRMs, productivity apps. I'm gonna scroll on until I get to high level, there it is. And these are all the apps I can automate high level alongside. So I wanna connect high level to BombBomb Bomb and send video messages or Google Sheets and pull all that data out so I can analyze it. But today we're gonna to sync it to Outlook so that the contacts are always up to date. So we have two syncs available. You can see high level to Office 365 contacts and back again. So totally up to you. You could do either of these or both. I'm gonna show you what it looks like to set up both. So first I'm gonna connect high level to Office 365, which is Outlook. I'll activate this sync. Step one, sign into your API Nation account. If you don't have one, click this link at the top that says create one. If you do have one, go ahead and sign in. If you have a Google account you'd normally use, just sign in using your Google account. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I use my business Google account, sign right in. That'll also create an account if I don't have one. All right, so I've signed into API Nation and now I can connect high level. Click the big button. It's gonna take me out to high level. I will sign in and then I'll choose the account I want to connect. I'm gonna go with my API Nation high level account. All right, and it's gonna send me back here. And now you can see I have that account available to select. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. Step two, connect Office 365. I'm gonna hit connect. Go ahead and sign into Office 365. There we go. It looks like I'm already signed in on this browser. So just use those information, it remembered. We're now ready to create our sync. So a couple of things to look at before we create them. First, do I wanna sync everybody from high level into Outlook? If I do, just check this box. If instead I just wanna start paying attention today going forward, leave the box unchecked. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it unchecked. And then when it syncs it into Outlook, where do I want it to go? I can go ahead and choose default and that's just gonna put them in my Outlook. Great, super helpful. You also have the option to choose a specialized folder. For example, I have one for KW Command. But you can also just hop in on Outlook real quick click on contacts, and then create a new folder. And I can just name this high level. There we go. So now I have a new folder here. I can go back to API Nation, hit this refresh. Now it's gonna see that new folder for high level. There we go. So now anybody I add to high level from now on is gonna go into that high level folder in Outlook, which could be super helpful. Or if you'd like, like I said, you can choose default and then it'll just go into Outlook proper. Also, I can choose if I wanna override information in Outlook or if I just wanna fill in the blanks. I'm gonna just have it fill in the blanks in Outlook. Hit subscribe, it's gonna take us to our final step. We're just double checking exactly what we're doing here. This all looks great, this is all the same. Here's the mapping in case you wanna do anything different. We've done most of this for you. If you wanna add anything additional, you're just gonna hit the plus sign find the field you want. Maybe I'll, this should be an address. There we go. And it goes right in there. I come on down here to notes and I can add whatever I want from high level into the notes. Maybe I want to put the source in here. I want, that's great. Also, just so I remember, I'm going to put source. I'm going to type it out. So then when stuff comes over, it's actually going to say the word source colon and then whatever the actual value is. And I can do this over and over with different fields. For example, let's do tags. Tags, colon, and then add tags. Boop, there we go. Cool, so this all looks great. I'm gonna go to the top and activate this sync. Okay, so the sync is up and running. Now I'm gonna set up the second half of the sync so that these two apps run it as one. I'm gonna click on the high level logo. It's gonna take me back out to the high level syncs. And I'm just gonna go through that same process. Click on Outlook. This time, instead of doing 
high level into outlook i'm going to choose outlook into high level there it is activate that my accounts are already added in here because i signed in earlier we're going to create this sync again totally up to you if you want to do default and have everybody you add to outlook added to high level or if you want to choose a folder give yourself a little bit more control so that only people you add to that folder end up in high level for follow-up i like having that additional level of control so i'm going to go ahead and do that and in high level, I'm actually gonna have it overwrite in the information. So I'm gonna leave this box unchecked. Subscribe. We're gonna do a final check here. This all looks great. Come on down here. I see there's a full name field. So I'm gonna just create that real quick by adding first space last name. Cool, now I have a full name in there. I see there's a phone field. I'm gonna head add that. Search for phones. And you can see there's a home, a business, and a mobile. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all three. I'm gonna choose the mobile phone, the home phone, and the business phone. So I've added all three. You can see what it'll look like if those come over. That's a mess, that's not what I want. But I can choose this gear and do field priority. So what that does is I can tell this sync, all right, if there's a mobile phone number, use the mobile phone. If there's no mobile phone, use the home phone. If there's no home phone, use the business phone. That way, one of those phone numbers will end up in here and this isn't gonna be blank. This looks good. So now it's gonna be the mobile phone or the home phone or the business phone in that phone field. This all looks great. I'm gonna go back to the top and start the sync. All right, I'm gonna click on my syncs here and you can see I now have two syncs running, high level into Outlook and Outlook back to high level. And that's it, that's how you set up the Outlook and high level sync. Now, anytime you add a contact into Outlook, it'll be synced into high level. Anytime you get a lead that comes through one of your awesome landing pages, your texting, your Facebook lead ads on high level, it'll be added to your Outlook for easy follow-up there. If you have any questions or need any assistance, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.